636 here on VT. We're back over to Richard Southern now. Sign of the time. So Second Cup says it's looking to get into the pot business. Never mind Java, Tammy. They want to sell pot instead. So yeah, Second Cup says it wants to turn its 130 locations across the province into cannabis stores. Of course, this announcement comes after the province of Ontario said it would allow private retailers to sell recreational cannabis starting next April. Second Cup had already earlier this year announced a partnership with marijuana clinic operator National Access Cannabis. So get your java, get your cannabis at the same time. And of course, uh, Tammy was just talking about canopy growth up 31% on Bay Street yesterday. We'll continue to watch that stock. The morning after assessment about that Constellation deal uh, from analysts is that it could open up the floodgates to big tobacco, to big pharma looking to get into the Canadian cannabis sector. It's becoming increasingly clear that the future for the drug is less in smoking it and a lot more in, say, drinking it or consuming it in different methods. Uber is not a public company, but the ride-hailing service is driving in with earnings this morning. It is reporting its financials, and there's red ink, and quite a bit of it. Uber lost $891 million in the second quarter, that three-month period. It did bring in revenue of $2.8 billion, but ultimately lost money as it spent more. Uber planning to go public on Wall Street in the second half of next year, but maybe complicating things is its penchant for red ink. Uber lost $4.5 billion last year and has burned through $11 billion since uh, becoming a company back in 2009. Are you having your morning coffee this morning? Are you putting broccoli in it? This is the new thing, apparently, broccoli coffee. Uh, scientists in Australia have developed a powdered version of broccoli that you can yummy stir into your morning coffee. Two tablespoons contain about one serving of broccoli, good source of dietary fiber, vitamin B6, vitamin E, and, you know, we've had unicorn frappuccinos. We've had bulletproof coffee with people putting butter in their java. There's bone broth latte, so why not, I suppose, broccoli coffee, too. Roger Peterson, what's on uh, your mind this morning, sir? Not broccoli coffee. 